What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm back out here at the semi. Sorry we had a little complications with the channel. Um, I guess YouTube thought that I wasn't a hacker even though they already gave me the channel back. So anyways, we're back out here again. Finally up and running like we need to be. And we got some parts that showed up yesterday. If you guys watched the video about the mud truck tire and stuff like that, we got the new freaking huge bumper in. Super excited about that. We got our chain tray right here for the headache rack. That has to be welded on actually. Can't bolt it on. We got our Y pipe for the stacks. Check that out. Some new LED lights for the, the uh, blinkers. Yep, those things. <laughs> for the tail lights, reverse lights, and brake lights, and blinkers, and all that good stuff. And we got these. This has been a very talked about subject on the semi, what we're doing with the stacks and all that good stuff. And we're going to get these babies put on here. Oh, they, these look good. These look sexy. Dang. Oh, oh man. <laughs> Those look so sexy. Yeah, you know, they're going to go flop, 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 flop. <laughs> or they're going to stick up in the wind, too. And then we also got a new horn for the top. We are going to be doing like some big, huge train horns, but the one up top just sounded like trash. We got a brand new horn on the front, on the, for the top of it. I don't know, we're probably going to probably leave that on there because that'll keep rain, rain and stuff and get inside mm -hmm. the, the horn. So. So there's that. First thing we're gonna do is get this bumper unbolted, the old one. It's got stainless hardware on there, so I'm gonna try to take it easy, go slow with it. If it comes off, and then uh, I'll get this new one put on, and well, you'll unbox that in just a second. Looks like they put anti-seize on there, right? Yeah. Thank God. What's nice about the bumper we got also, it's a direct replacement bolt up. There's no fancy fabricating we gotta do. It all bolts up right in place with this factory hardware. So, what we're probably gonna do is just put a couple bolts in it and they'll go get brand new like chrome bolts or something. Unless it came with a bolt kit, I don't know, maybe it did. There might be all new bolts in there. So there we are, I got the bumper all set off there. Don't, don't, oh, don't lay it down. We got some of the ones that remember, lay it back over. The other way. There we go. Um, we're gonna get the air blower. I'm gonna have Aaron actually go grab the air blower right quick. We're gonna clean all this stuff off, all this dirt and stuff off the front of the frame. We're gonna spray paint it black while we're here and uh, get this new one put on. It's gonna look sick. All right, so here it is. Uh, gotta move these sockets out of the way first. <laughs> See if it's got any bolts with it. Probably doesn't, but dang it. Oh, look what I just did. That was great. No bolts. So we're going to uh, just to put two of them on there and just to hold it up, we'll go buy some chrome bolts to match that baby. It's going to look sick. So these wires right here, guys, are for fog lights that were no longer in the old bumper. So we're going to be putting new LED fog lights in there. And wiring all that up and this right here is a front i don't know what the heck this is some kind of a front oh no it's the that's the uh cool uh, the block heater is what that is okay i was wondering what the heck that was so that's the block heater we're probably actually going to be removing this from the truck because we're down here in the south we don't really have any use for that so probably going to leave that um unhooked and remove it out of the truck because we just don't need it so I may just go ahead and cut it now. And the wires are all crap, and I'd rather put a brand new one on there so we don't ever have to worry about having any issues. So we'll go ahead and cut that with a pair of cutters, and then uh, I'm gonna get those. Wire here. There we go. Cut that almost looks like weld, maybe. Well, maybe not. <laughs> nope. I have to go get my grinder, I guess. My wit. Yep, let me go get the grinder. All right, so, flapper wheel almost worn out, engage.
The rattle can paint. Rattle can. Rattle time. Ain't it? <laughs> doing this to keep it from rusting anymore right yep well that and so it looks good behind the bumper yeah <laughs> you want to go grab a pair of cutters and i'll keep spraying this you can come back and check it yep well i got all the front kind of spray painted that's going to be behind the bumper we'll probably get in there and do the axle and stuff later on possibly if, if we can see it or not getting it all undone here yeah. Oh, baby. Is it all extra shiny? Oh man, that's that a mirror is a right sexy there. Sexy bumper too. Jeez. Now I gotta make sure we put it on the right way. <laughs> well, these were facing downwards, so. Yep. Those are the. Those fog are gonna be the holes. bottom fog lights. Dang guys, this thing turned out freaking sick. The only thing I'll be straight up is I don't like the gap right here, but I don't know why that's maybe. Oh man, it's probably because the. When the cab folds forward so it doesn't hit and it's a little wide so i don't know of course if we ever decide to go to the big super single the wide tires on the front like we were talking about it'd probably be perfect then but definitely looks a hundred times freaking better than what was on there yeah especially old, all the rust chips old away. rusty i mean old trusty there <laughs> so up next we're gonna get the cab folded forward oh we only put a couple bolts in it because i want to tighten them down and damage that chrome what i want to do is get some chrome plated bolts instead of stainless bolts and um, mount it up so it looks nice pretty and polished well we probably just use regular bolts and go get some of those little nut covers from the 75 chrome shop put on yeah. we, that's probably what we'll do so we don't have to worry about stripping anything out or anything like that back here we got like i said guys the stuff came in the freaking full fenders if you were watching at the end of the video uh what video was that Picking up the uh, red Dodge. Picking up the red Dodge, yeah, for the school bus donor engine. So we got these, kind of shoved these on the truck late that night when it was dark outside, but they turned out freaking sick. We gotta do a little bit of adjustment and mount the rear mounts for these right here. Um, the fifth wheel is kind of just chilling right there. Very carefully, we are looking at getting a new fifth wheel plate. So we may just go ahead and remove that one altogether um, and just kind of get rid of that whole issue. Right, well, we probably are. I'm gonna go ahead and just get a new one. But we can find used ones all over the place. And mount it up so i'm probably gonna come out here with a torch hack that baby off so that we can get these mount up how they need to be and they're really dirty need to be good polishing so um up next we're gonna get to working on these and maybe get the tractor flops thrown on there then we'll get the cab folded forward and get the new horn put on the front of it and put all the nut certs in for the cab lights sound like a plan it sounds like a plan okay. to me okay okay so these tractor flaps we got for this top of the stack guys are actually made really nice they've got like a brass bushing in here for them to flap open 100 million jillion times <laughs> so we're gonna get these stuck up there and i'm gonna just tighten them down or snug them up a little bit yeah, probably go ahead and snug them down all the way i'm assuming we probably they probably need to face backwards so they don't get flung open going down the road yeah so like that for sure okay okay if i can climb up here without just hurt See, now i gotta go on top of the cap can you hand me the other one wherever i put it then I need a 13 millimeter deep socket. All right. Hmm. Hmm. Guess we'll check, test out these teeth. OSHA approved. Well guys, I'm up here, Aaron's down there. I got the flapper kind of set on there. You can see the inside of the stack's already starting to rust because there's no um, soot going in there. So I'm gonna try to multi, multi film and tighten up a little bit and adjust it up where I want it. Well, there it is everyone. A little bit of a screwdriver persuasion, getting it straight. Ooh, that's gonna look so cool. We're just flopping. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna get the other side thrown on. You suck. <laughs> you want to try it again? No, that's okay. That's how you do it. Okay, I'm going to start handing me some stuff and I'll, instead of uh, holding the cab back forward, we'll just... Do it all while you're sitting up there, right? Yeah, I reckon. 
All right. Well, folks, up here on top of the cab, I've got new holes drilled like we did on the outer lights over here for the cab lights and we're just going to be bolting them in getting the nut certs installed on the cab here um, like i said before guys we're not going to be wiring them up now i want to wait till i get batteries in it and i can make sure i wire them up correctly so we're only doing this once or twice so uh with that being said i'm gonna get these nut certs installed aaron's down below so we'll try to get him up here to film in a second Aaron didn't get a chance to climb up here, but there we go, guys. Got the new three cab lights. We got all five cab lights up here. I am going to be replacing the uh, hell, that dang honeybee on me. Um, the antenna here for, for the radio. But uh, we're going to, Aaron's going to get at the inside of here and loosen up the uh, old horn. We'll get the new one mounted up. Looks like the bolt holes might be the same width, maybe. <laughs> close, 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 maybe close, but it is the same length, so it should sit right up there on that holder just fine. So guys, I'm up here still. Aaron's inside and he got to the nut. Or is it you holding it still? Yeah. On the bottom, we had to cut the headliner. Well, we're getting a new interior done anyway, so I'm not too concerned about tearing the headliner up. Um, this right here is the old horn. You can see where we pulled the trumpet out of it. So I'm gonna get this baby unscrewed and then try to reuse this rubber base here, maybe if it's somewhat similar and we'll put a little bit of sealer on it and make it work well there it is guys she's on there it doesn't want to sit on that pedestal quite right probably because i don't know we'll get it figured out though when i get back over to fix the lights but it's up here we got it mounted up we got to get some airline adapters to go inside to make it work correctly but i was able to reuse the rubber mount here um to go on there and, and make it put her to work so tractor flaps are on cab lights are all done bumpers hanging on there barely we'll see if we can mess with these uh, rear fenders right quick. You clamp that down on it, and this right here's got a big bolt that goes through the frame. Oh. Okay. So we got the fenders kind of set here. Aaron, you wanna pick that up, kind of how we were just looking at, but from back here so everybody can see it. Now stand back behind it, bud. There you go. So right there is about, right right there is about where they're gonna need to be, and we gotta pick the front up a little bit. Um, and we're gonna have to move the front mount, basically, from where it's at right there because the suspension has got to be able to travel up and down on these axles. And, uh, Especially with big loads. Right? Yeah, that too, when it gets heavy and stuff, and I don't want the tires rubbing the fenders and getting hot. So we're gonna leave this for a whole nother day because it's gonna be a solid day's project, putting a holes through the frame, drilling, Cutting, stuff like that. We're gonna get Corey over here with his welder and see if he can weld this tray up to the bottom of the headache rack. But for right now, flappers look good. Get a good look at the front of the truck for you guys. I don't think you guys got to see the front of the truck with the horn and all on it. Bumper check i did finally get a hold of some headlight bucket springs i've got those ordered waiting on them to come in um and I'm, yeah i'm probably gonna not get rid of that it looks like it's a giant mole on the front of the truck <laughs> that'd be in painted black so we're gonna do we'll probably buy a new one maybe out of stainless or something if someone makes it because that's actually made out of like plastic really crappy plastic yeah, so yeah so horn check cab light check visor check bumper front bumper check. check we should get some chrome bumps or chrome nuts for it so She's starting to take shape, guys. Starting to look good. Well, guys, we got that white truck all dropped off over at Justin's house. And uh, if you watch the live stream, we did a little bit of burnouts with it before not. But I just got home and all the frustration with YouTube stuff going on, my 100,000 subscriber plaque showed up. So pretty sick, guys. YouTube, if you're watching this, so you know it's me. I got the plaque. It's got my name on it. I am who I am. Today's date is February 4th, 2020. It's currently 8 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. So, going to get this video edited, guys. Go to brucewilsonshop.com. Grab your merch. Hope you enjoyed the semi content. We'll be back out here tomorrow getting the fenders put on the semi. And then Aaron and I are flying to Utah Thursday. Just like button, comment, subscribe, guys. Peace out.